the world's most feared serial killer was an indian and he killed over 900 people in cold blood who comes to mind when you think of a serial killer charles shobraj alias the bikini killer who would charm beautiful young women only to later kill them the merciless jack the ripper whose identity is yet to be confirmed charles manson who managed a number of followers who were willing to support and kill for him or ted bundy who would sexually assault kill and decapitate his victims before keeping their severed heads in his apartment as trophies as terrifying as these maniacs might sound they still don't make the cut for the world's worst that title would be reserved for an indian who spread terror in the 1800s many don't know this but the word thug actually stems from the hindi word thad a cult of dacoits in the odd or avadh region of north india the most notorious among them was their leader thug behram the king of thugs one of the most prolific in the history of mankind he was responsible for murders of an estimated 931 people thug behram unexplained mysteries a worshipper of the goddess of death kali the thugs looked at the killing of innocents as their religious duty they believed their killings would be gratified by kali herself in fact none of the murders were for money or pleasure but in the name of religion the yellow handkerchief fearing their lives traders from delhi jabalpur and gwalior would avoid taking the routes taken by behram and his thugs his modus operandi was simple yet lethal he would use a yellow handkerchief with a medallion sewn on it he would use the piece of cloth to strangle the victims before looting them the medallion would be used to put pressure on the victims adam's apple suffocating them to death in no time mysterious disappearances in the early 1800s businessmen tourists soldiers even an entire caravan would mysteriously vanish into thin air the police were left baffled not knowing what was going on in 1809 captain william sleeman was put in charge of figuring out the mystery captain sleeman's investigation revealed that behram and his army of 200 were carrying out these attacks they laid a number of traps on the delhi jabalpur route to catch behram and the other thugs startling revelations nearly 10 years after sleeman arrested behram the police came to know that the thugs would travel disguised as trader they would converse in a specific sign language known as ramosi around their victims they would indicate an oncoming convoy to their gang members by imitating the cry of a jackal hearing the cry behram and his gang would arrive with the yellow handkerchief after killing them mercilessly their bodies would be ditched in the nearby well the end 75 year old behram was finally caught in 1840 he is known to have murdered around 931 people by that time although he only admitted to killing around 125 people and being an accomplice to around 150 more behram was executed by hanging his medallion known to have been used in at least 65 killings is still preserved in a private museum today